What the F is going on, everybody? Welcome to Ripping Packs. It is What the F Wednesday. Yeah! I could do that the entire episode, but I would throw my voice out. And you'd probably get tired of it real quick, too. Anyway, what the hell are we ripping today? Well, we're going to rip open some uh, sports that takes place in the ring. But not just one. We're talking two sports that take place in the ring. What is it you say? Well, it's gonna be some prism, but not just one type of prism. We've got the new prism uh, single packs, the retail packs from UFC. Picked these up just yesterday. And we also have some fat packs of WWE prism. We have the debut edition, ain't tops anymore. It's now Panini. And we're gonna see just what these new cards look like. I'll see you in a second, jabroni. Hi there. I'm Craig Michelson, and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. Ripping packs on What the F Wednesday, and days like today are meant for this. The squared circle, where athletes are jumping up and down and taking falls and reading scripts and doing lines and pounding, pounding fists in the face. Yeah, UFC and wrestling. Anyway, so what are we ripping today? Again, like I mentioned, we got four uh, retail packs of UFC. Uh, this is series two, if you will, but it's realistically, it's the second iteration. 2022, uh, Tops formerly had the contract. And if that wasn't enough, we do have the debut edition of two uh, fat packs of Prism from WWE. We're gonna rip this open, but you know what, before we even think about doing that, you know what you can do? That's right, brother. And yeah, and yeah, and you know what, leave a comment. Who is your favorite wrestler or striker or UFC fighter, whoever? And I'm not talking somebody in the past, because this guy right here, Macho Man is one of my favorites. Him, Ultimate Warrior, yeah, I really like them. But it's actually kind of cool because a buddy of mine is actually playing uh, playing Macho Man in the Young Rock series. Uh, Kevin Makeley, buddy of mine. Uh, it's pretty awesome seeing a guy you know and you've hung out with a couple times. Uh, and uh, yeah, seeing him turn himself into, oh yeah. Yeah, it's pretty damn sweet, I will say. But no, who's your favorite wrestler? Because I need to know who the hell is out there. I don't know any of these people. I don't know most of these. I'm gonna know like maybe 20% of the UFC uh, class in this. I'll know probably over half, at least if not more, of the uh, WWE pack. But you know what? It's what the F Wednesday. It's That's what I do on these days. I do things like that. So anyway, before we even think about getting to that, by the way, this hat of mine, buddy of mine, James over Hood Hat, he took it up. Uh, I don't have any things, here we go. Hoodhat.com, Hood. It's the name of the company. You know, it's like uh, never leave it behind. You know what? The neighborhood. Never leave it behind. Uh, maybe a couple cool hats. I got a Portland Rip City hat. A couple of Ripping Packs hats. He's took, taking care of me. So definitely check it out. Uh, I obviously put the link below, you know, and that thing right there. Uh, check it out and uh, see if there's something that's, you know, that strikes your fancy. Something that calls to you. Something that says, you know what? I grew up there. I gotta get me one of them hats. Yeah. Anyway, you ready to rip this open? Great, because I sure the hell am. We're gonna start in order of, well, importance, I guess. We're gonna rip open these uh, four retail packs of UFC Prism. Pick these up at Target for $4 a pack. Not three anymore. It's a bucket card, so am I gonna know any of these guys? To be brutally honest with you, I might know, like I said, 20%. So you may know more than me. And again, please enlighten me. Let me know. If I butcher your name, if I don't say it right, if I'm an idiot, let me know. Because this is one of those episodes where you are the smartest person in the room. Not this guy. Anyway, are you ready? Good. Here we go. Pack number one of UFC Prism Fighting. Let's get something. I don't know. We're getting good cards. We're getting cards. Let's go. Bring packs. Yeah. Shred this. And we got a green. I don't know if it's normal. We have a, uh, God, there's a lot of border on these. Jose Aldo, he's a bantamweight. A bantamweight right there. Uh, base card, Jose Aldo. Put you up here. And then uh, Giga Chikadze, he's a featherweight. 
I will say I don't like as much border, but I do like the fact that they're very clean around. Um, I'm assuming WWE looks like that, but you got the UFC logo here, and it looks like a lot of the uh, landscape versions for these. Okay, and then we have ourselves a uh, Ryan Span with a light heavyweight. Praise in the guy because he knocked the crap out of somebody more than likely, but Ryan Span right there. And our green parallel is going to be, well, I'm not gonna know who it is, Chase Hooper, the featherweight, with a green parallel. Not numbered or anything. He's from Enumclaw, Washington. So if you're wondering what the back looks like, because I'm actually looking at it right this second. Uh, Chase Hooper, no stats or anything like that, but it does give a little bit of story. And how do I know he's from Enumclaw? It says right there, Enumclaw, Washington. So there you go, there's our first parallel of the day. Uh, again, Chase Hooper. No rookies, but I know they have a ton of rookies in this set from what I was reading. All right, pack number two of UFC 22 Prism. Let's go. <laughs> Got another green. Uh, maybe there's one green per pack, I don't know. Brian Ortega, featherweight. Brian Ortega. Again, actually, I don't know any of these guys so far, so let me know. Then we have uh, Alexander Rex, Re Rekis, Re Rexic, Rexic. He's a light featherweight, light heavyweight, excuse me. In the UFC, the ultimate fighting challenge. MMA, yeah. Joanne, uh, Joanne Wood, she is a flyweight. And yeah, I don't know if you guys saw, there is, I can't remember who it is, but there's a female uh, UFC uh, fighter who's going to be fighting a guy. See, she knocks the crap out of him, but Joanne Wood, and we have a green, another green parallel uh, Parallel here. It is, do you guys know, do you guys know, do you guys know? Max Holloway, featherweight with the green parallel. Max Holloway from Hawaii, where I will be going in about three weeks. Max Holloway. So right now we, we pulled uh, two parallels and a bunch of base, but hey, whatever. Pack number three of UFC. Prism, yeah. Got a silver. I mean, we're getting a lot of parallels, so there's, a, there's that. Uh, Mackenzie Dern, she is a straw weight. I will say that is a uh, class I have never heard of, but the straw weight, Mackenzie Dern. Gonna put you into the uh, landscape parallel uh, pile. Then Zhang, uh, Zhang Wheelie from the straw weight class. Again, surprise! I don't know, but Casey O'Neill, our first rookie we've gotten from the flyweight division. Uh, Casey O'Neill, that's what that card looks like. And the last card here, the silver, is going to be another rookie of Li Jingliang. Jingliang. That's a silver, so at least silver rookie, so there's something for that. Um, is he any good? Well, he's from Beijing, China, I'll tell you that much. Uh, he's uh, turn, his nickname is the Leech. So hey, and he's also a welterweight. That's actually might be a good card. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Last pack of the day of the UFC Prism League. Ready? Let's do this. Let's go. Jesus. Okay. So I got another silver. So I, I don't know if this is normal or whatnot. We'll find out here. So we have. Chen Sung Jung, who is a featherweight, going into the landscape pile, which is not normal for most people, but I guess in UFC it is. And then we have K Calvin, uh, Calvin Qatar. He is a featherweight. Calvin Qatar, obviously with the victory rays of the arms. And uh, Sadiq Yusuf, featherweight. So I'm seriously, I'm not pulling any names I've ever heard of. This is crazy. So let me know, let me know who's good, because, you know, yeah. And our last card, is, it is another silver. It is Aljamon Sterling. Aljamon Sterling, that's a pretty sweet looking card, I will say. Uh, from Uniondale, New York, and he's just dead on looking the camera. So I don't know if one parallel is common per, uh, per pack, but uh, yeah, I just did all right there. So yeah, I mean, we got two rookies. I thought there were more rookies, but whatever. Are you ready for some 
WWE. That's right, not the WWF. World Wrestling Entertainment. Again, we've got two fat packs. Pick these up at Target on a Sunday night at like midnight or 11 o'clock, whatever, 15 bucks a pack. So again, it's a bucket card. That's pretty much the standard when you're looking at Prism. Um, we're looking at, we get three run, uh, red, white, and blues in here and good times. And maybe a memory lane. Are you ready? Good, let's go. Ripping packs, WWE. With the F Wednesday, let's go. All right, they are the exact same. Uh, yeah, the exact same uh, as the uh, UFC. We have JC Jane rookie card. I will say that looks really weird with the prism. I mean, it looks like the entire background is just completely missing. So JC Jane rookie card. And you're gonna go to the rookie pile. Roman Reigns, okay, we got the cover boy from the uh, from the uh, package, but Roman Reigns, one of the great uh, WD wrestlers right now, currently, at least I'm aware of. I believe he's a nephew or the cousin to The Rock, so maybe there's a little bit of nepotism. I don't know, but he's really good. We do have Becky the Man Lynch. There is a hit uh, to go with Roman. Becky Lynch, who is uh, very, I'm very aware of her. Uh, I know she's pretty solid. So there's that. We got a silver in here too, so. Uh, we do have Paul Heyman. I know him. He's a manager, if I recall. A manager who, uh, I think he, ah, uh, uh, God, Brock Lesnar's manager. Paul Heyman. Not, not a rookie pile. Then we have Flash Morgan Webster. Uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, crickets for me, but hey, Flash Morgan Webster. I got your card, dude. Kick some ass, buddy. Then we have Rhea, Rhea Ripley. Uh, again, they, uh, I don't think she has a diva. I don't think that diva thing even exists anymore. It's just the women's division, but Rhea Ripley. Oh yeah, Undertaker. That is a sweet ass card. I saw uh, somebody pulled like a gold or the red of these and it's, that's a, that's a badass card. And the Taker, again, he wasn't, I mean, he was, that was a little after me when I was growing up. Taker was still, he's still very relevant, but he was starting to come up. And my brothers were big fans of Undertaker. In fact, my brother Tim is a big WWE fan. Um, yeah. And then we got uh, Raquel Gonzalez. Again, uh, a name I'm not aware of, but maybe you are. Raquel Gonzalez. And Dusty Rhodes, there we go. Uh, his son, uh, his, his son Cody Rhodes, who's uh, just got back in the WWE. Uh, Dusty Rhodes, one of the all-time greats, and not the uh, not the uh, musician who was in Black Sabbath. Dusty Rhodes. We do have our silver and our red, white, and blue. So let's scoot to the back. We have prismatic entrances with AJ Styles. I am aware of him. I guess that's a hit. I, there was a couple guys who went over to the AEF, uh, that Ultimate Wrestling thing, uh, and. God, I can't remember the guy, but Dean something was one of those guys. That's a hit. And then Fearless and Shinsuke Nakamura for Fearless. I'm gonna go and put you into the inserts and parallels. Maybe you're a hit, I don't know. But Dusty Rhodes, Dusty Rhodes definitely a hit. Okay, our silver is going to be somebody I'm not aware of. Seth Rollins, wow, and, okay, did not, it's the coat that threw me off there. Seth Rollins with the silver. I know Seth Rollins. I've actually seen him wrestle before. Uh, him and Roman Reigns did a uh, tag team match at a uh, Sunday event that I went to years ago with my brother Tim. But Seth Rollins, well, the, the coat threw me off. And our first red, white, and blue is going to be a rookie. Well, I'm not gonna know this guy. Brutus Creed. Brutus Creed wearing his, uh, his uh, one-up, not one-up, but his onesie there. What's the terminal? What's that? Monkey suit? I can remember, but. Our second rookie of the pack, well, Brutus Creed, not familiar with him. Sasha Banks, okay, there is a, uh, a very, uh, she is a, a big deal, but I know she's also uh, gotten into acting now. So Sasha Banks, you're gonna go into the, uh, the hip pile. And Rikishi, who is actually lives out here in SoCal and does autograph signings. Rikishi, uh, one of the all time great wrestlers and his daughter is Nia Jax, I believe. All right, are you ready? Four, pack number two of WWE Prism Fat Pack. You, you are, good. Let's do this now. Okay, gotta say, first pack wasn't that bad. Actually enjoyed it. 
Okay, well, we got Paul Heyman again. We did get a blue. Oh, we got the red, white, and blue stuff. No. Paul Heyman again. Well, I already showed it to you, so don't need to. Flash Morgan Webster. Okay, so we're getting dupes. Sarai, which I'm not familiar with, but that's what Sarai's card looks like. Again, Prism looks good, but some of these pictures they chose, like Sarai and that first card, just doesn't work on these. Just doesn't work. So, Sarai, we have uh, Akira Tazawa for uh, doing his little flying move. Sure, whatever, I don't know who Akira is, but I know the movie Akira. Yeah. Then we have another Raquel Gonzalez. We'll put you over here. Another Dusty Rhodes. Jinder Ma Mahal. Okay. We've got a Jinder Mahal here. Um, I can't remember him. I think they were. There was a huge racist storyline. Uh, the WWE was getting like backlash on with this character. I could be wrong, but. Lacey Evans for. Uh, yeah, I do not know. I'm just going to stop saying that because it's going to be pretty evident with most of these. Lacey Evans and Sonia Deville. Sonia Deville. Must be a uh, manager or a uh, on stay, on, on, uh, on ring, uh, on ring uh, announcer or something like that. I don't know. We do got a green, so we'll scoot to the back. We do got a red here coming up. Interesting. All right, we have another uh, Shinsuke uh, Nakamura for the next level. So Shinsuke Nakamura, again, I don't know. I mean, I know he's, I've heard of him. I know he's a big deal, but is he? I don't know. He's quick, he flies, I don't know. Going in the entrance. Prismatic entrances with Carmella. So I will say I've heard rumors about uh, them using uh, Panini, just using the exact same pictures from a lot of the Topps products. So I myself don't know. I've only ripped a handful of WWE uh, products, more of like for the for these episodes. But all right, let's go to our green here. Our green. We have not gotten a rookie yet. Our green is going to be Robert Stone. Okay, no, I'm not gonna say because I don't know. But Robert Stone is our green parallel. Um, yeah, so again, we haven't pulled any rookies. Our red, white, and blue first is Ricochet. Ricochet with the red, white, and blue right here. Uh, remember the movie Ricochet? It was pretty good. Yeah, I don't know if he is, but hey, either way, he's going into the parallel pile. And then we got uh, so, uh, Sarav. Uh, looks like it'd be a rookie card, but it ain't because he ain't no rookie. Sarav. Yeah. And our last card is going to be, uh, well, yeah, I didn't see where, yeah. Ricky, Ricky, Rick Boggs. So I got a lot of current player, uh, current wrestlers, uh, and that's Rick Boggs right there. So yeah, I'd say that pack, pack one was definitely much better. Pack two kind of blue. And considering the fact I got dupes, and I got not a lot of guys I was aware of. I mean, yeah, honestly, I got one hit out of that entire pack when you look at it. But so there you go. What the F Wednesday? A second episode. Yeah. Well, actually, I didn't want this stuff to sit. A with the prism I was able to get, and I wanted to open the WWE because okay, I'm I'm just that guy. So there you go, WWE and UFC, it's a prism, what the F episode. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I'm, uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll maybe rip some more WWE down the road. I'm not, I mean, I, again, you see where I'm at with this. I like it, I don't know much about it, but you know, it's kind of like uh, NASCAR. I like it, just don't know too much about it. So anyway, thank you for watching Ripping Packs today. Uh, that subscribe button, you know what you can do? No, you, you can actually just push it. I didn't that. Really, you think I was telling you you can go. Okay, but that like button, you know, you can. Yes, you can. Um, and notification bell, whatever. Again, leave a comment. Who is your favorite wrestler or fighter right now? That's it. Not, not Dusty Rhodes, not The Undertaker, not a guy from the past, not, you know, not, you know, again, not, a, you know, somebody who's, you know, 50 and who's not doing it anymore. I'm talking about somebody who is, you're like, I like this guy. Who is it? Yeah. So 
Thank you so much again for watching Ripping Packs. Uh, come back on Friday. We will, we, I will do a Donruss basketball comparison rip. So if you thought Monday's episode was a ton of bass, well, just wait till Friday. It's going to be a lot of bass. Hopefully not, but probably. Anyway, thank you again. Come back on Friday. And until then, always rip some packs. I'll see you then.